Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about the potential due to a, a dipole at any random point. So first I am going to start with dipole. What is dipole? Two equal and opposite charges separated by a, a very small distance. It's called electric dipole. So this is my dipole. Because of this dipole, because you have my positive charge here, we have a negative charge here. I just want to find potential at this point or this point or this point at any random point around this dipole. So we are going to obtain the expression for the potential due to this dipole. Okay. So in this problem, we are going to disc we are going to solve the uh, both axial case as well as equatorial case simultaneously. In the case of electric field, we discuss axial case separately and the equatorial case separately. But for the potential, it's a scalar. Since the potential is a scalar, we are going to obtain the expression for the both axial as well as the equatorial plane simultaneously. So first I'm going to start with, I have a, a positive charge here plus Q. I have a negative charge here minus Q. So this is my dipole moment direction dipole moment is always from negative to positive. So I'm going to consider some random point is going to be some x because the p already we used to here. So I'm going to consider some random point x the distance from the center of the dipole is r. So which makes an angle theta here. So the separation between the dipole is going to be 2a. So the distance from here to here is going to be 2a. So this is a and this is again a. So okay. So now I just want to find <coughs> the electric potential at point x. The distance from this point to this point is going to be r1. The distance from this point to this point is going to be r2. So the electric field due to a point charge. Last class we derived an expression my b equals to q by 4 pi epsilon naught r so my potential is inversely proportional to r so first i'm going to write the electric potential at due to this positive charge at this point and the electric potential due to this minus charge at this point so i'm going to write the net potential here at x v equals to my q is common here q by 4 pi epsilon naught. The distance from here to here is going to be r. If I multiply this, I'm getting the potential at point x due to the positive charge here. If I multiply this term, which will provide, if I multiply this term, which will provide the electric field at point x, sorry, electric potential at point x due to this negative charge. So this is my net potential at point x due to this dipole. But the problem here, if I vary the position of x value here or here, my r value will change. My r1 and r2 value will change, but r won't change. So we are going to write the electric potential in terms of r, not in terms of r1 and r2. Why? Because my R1 and R2 are the variables. If I vary the position vector, my R1 and R2 are the variables. Okay. So we are going to obtain the expression V in terms of R, not in terms of R1 and R2. So I'm going to use some trigonometry here. Using trigonometry here, I can simply write my R1, R1. Consider this triangle here, my R1 square equals to r square plus a square if i add sorry yeah you have to subtract these two if i subtract this minus this i'm getting this so this is the larger side right so this square minus this square so r square plus a square minus 2 into a into r cos theta minus for the r2 So this is the largest side. If you're considering this triangle here, this is the largest side. If it is, this is the largest side, I have to add this point and this point. If I add these two, I'm getting my R2. It's going to be R square plus A square plus 2 into A into R 
cos theta. So using trigonometry, I can solve this problem. So what the thing is, I am trying to write my R1 and R2 in terms of R. Okay. So first I am going to simplify this R1. Then similarly, we can simply write for the R2. Only this sign is variable. Right. So what I am going to do here, I am going to I need only 1 over r. First, I have to remove the uh, r square term. So, my r 1 square equals to r square 1 plus a square by r square minus 2 into a into r cos theta pi r square. Okay, I just bring this r square out. So, this r square, this r gets cancelled. This term can going to be 0 why it is going to be zero because dipole from the dipole definition a is very very small what is the definition of dipole two equal and opposite charges separated by a very small distance hey two a itself a small distance then a square is even smaller that is divided by a, a larger number that is even smaller so i can neglect this term if i neglect this term i can simply write my <coughs> r1 square equals to r square 1 minus 2a cos theta by r <coughs> okay so now my target is to remove this r uh, square part so my r1 equals to r into 1 minus 2a cos theta by r right <coughs> yeah if you want to remove the square i have to put 1 by 2 yeah if I, 1 by 2 here then <coughs> similarly i can write the expression for r2 what is my r2 r into 1 plus 2 into a cos theta by r okay so we have a r1 and we have a r2 term so next i am going to simplify again this r1 because i need 1 over r1 to solve this problem so i need a 1 by r1 equals to 1 by r <coughs> 1 minus 2a cos theta by r power minus 1 by 2 actually this is what my required term if i substitute the same term here the problem will increase the term will be more complicated why because there will be a minus 1 by 2 if i substitute the same value here the equation is more complicated to solve the problem i'm going to use the binomial expansion here so the bi using binomial expansion what is binomial expansion 1 plus x power n that is approximately equals to 1 plus nx so 1 plus nx this is very much similar to this expression right okay if i this equation is very much similar to this expression so if you're applying this binomial expansion here what's happening this minus n by 2 will multiplied by here then this will become 1 by r1 equals to <coughs> 1 by r 1 minus half minus plus 1 by 2 2a cos theta by r so this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled by 1 by r1 equals to 1 by r 1 plus a cos theta by r so this is our required expression next similarly i can simply write for r2 so similarly For R2, I can simply write 1 by R1 1 plus A, or sorry, here it's going to be 1 minus, 1 minus A cos theta by R. So, in the examination, you need to do it uh, separately. You have to write, after the expression for the R1 and then you can simply write similarly, then proceed. Okay. So, this is my equation 1 and this is my equation 2. This is my equation 3. So now I am going to substitute my equation 2 and 3 in 1. Then simplify. Okay. 
So if I substitute this value here, oh, instead of this one by R1, I can simply write here, my V equals to my equation two and three in one. So, okay, I need this space. I'll erase this part. Okay, so if I substitute this V here, Q by 4 pi epsilon naught, if I multiply this inside, it's going to be 1 by R plus A cos theta by R square. So minus sign will be there. So minus of minus plus 1 by R, sorry, is going to be minus, is going to be plus A cos theta by R square. Okay, if I substitute my equation 2 and 3 in 1, I'm getting this. So, this 1 over r and this 1 over r gets cancelled. We have a a cos theta by r square and a cos theta by r square. So, 2a cos theta by r square. My potential v equals to q by 4 pi epsilon naught 2a cos theta by r square. So, 2a into q is nothing but dipole moment you already know my p equals to 2a into q so if i substitute this value here i can simply write my v equals to p cos theta by 4 pi epsilon naught r square so this is the final expression for the potential at point x due to that dipole of dipole moment p but the beauty of this equation is my potential is inversely proportional to r square this is very very crucial to result actually in the previous class we discussed about the potential due to a point charge the potential due to a point charge is inversely proportional to r but in this case my potential due to electric dipole is inversely proportional to r square okay this is very very important result in the case of competitive exams neat or je this differentiation is very very important right so potential due to a point charge which is inversely proportional to r potential due to a dipole is inversely proportional to r square so this is very very important point note it down here so next uh, if my theta varies for the same r value because r won't change i can if you want to change my r value the distance may change but i can find the electric field on the axial point the electric potential on the axial point and the electric potential on the equatorial point by varying the theta value. Simple, if I vary my theta value here, if my theta equals to is my case 1, if I theta equal to 0, which means you are measuring your x at this point, 0, which means v equals to plus p. 4 pi epsilon naught r square okay at this point this is the potential on the axis of the dipole so if i put theta equals to pi v equals to minus p by 4 pi epsilon naught r square which means you are measuring at this point which means uh, which is parallel to the in in this point my dipole moment which is parallel to the uh, axis in this case if you are measuring my x at this point what's happening which is anti parallel to the dipole moment there is a that's why there is a minus sign okay listen and then if i put uh, this is for case 2 and this is for case 3 my theta equals to pi by 2 the electric potential on the equal to the plane the midpoint the distance from here to here is equal to distance from here to here so i'm getting v equal to zero which means my v1 equals to v2 the potential due to this charge at this point is equal to potential due to this charge at this point is equal if it is equal same potential then my potential difference is going to be 
zero. So if I say potential, it's a difference between two points. So the potential difference is going to be zero. So the potential at the equatorial point due to the electric dipole is going to be zero. So this is very, very important result for the exams. Okay. So I just uh, stop at this point. If you like this video, share with your friends and subscribe our channel to get the more content. And we have a, a separate playlist for the practicals. If you're not able to watch the videos, go and check it out. We'll meet in the next class. Thanks for watching.